What we need to obtain is our standard right parasternal four chamber view in the long axis, which we have there. What we'll need to do is just rotate our probe 10 to 15 degrees approximately in the anti-clockwise direction, or so I was taught thumb to bum. This can give us a really good starting point to be able to find that outflow tract from the left ventricle. And there it comes now. So now we've optimized for the aortic valve and also the outflow tract coming from the left ventricle. We can look at the aortic valve. We can also look at if there's any post-valve dilation. We can also look for any signs of a ventricular septal defect. This is not always immediately apparent in a black and white image. Sometimes, particularly if it's small or dynamic VSD, then we'll need to be able to evaluate this with color. But it's a good place to start in the general practice setting. So we'll just go through that one more time. In order to obtain the five chamber view, we'll start with the four chamber view that we found initially. So we'll feel for the apex beat. Go in the intercostal space. And what I have here is my thumb towards the sternum. It is a parasternal long axis view. I'll need to optimize it. So I will just rotate slightly anti-clockwise. And I'll also angle slightly caudally in this dog. You may need to have a little bit of patience and just try very small movements on whatever dog you're trying to perform an echo on because they're not all made up the same. Exactly. So here we have a nice right parasternal long axis four chamber view. And we'll just rotate anti-clockwise, thumb to bum. Until we get the outflow tract. So we can see the left ventricle, we can see the aortic valves, and we can also see the outflow tract. 